Well, hello everyone. Welcome to or welcome back to the channel, whatever the case may be. Uh, this is Diamond Art with Dell, and I have an unbagging video or unboxing video for you guys today. I have a parcel sent to me from One Day Savings, and it's got a couple little goodies in here for us to have a look at. So I will be unboxing these today and having a bit of a look at them with you guys and going through them. And if you're interested in any of these products, links would be down below for you guys. Um, for these products, the website, discount codes, all that good fun stuff. So, okay, let's get on with it. This is time. Okay, now this is um, kind of interesting. It's quite a big rectangle, so fairly flat, but type package. So I was kind of a bit... Who would have been sending what to me mm, that would have this shape at first? And then I sort of, uh, I got the email from them to say, hey, your package has arrived. So I went, ha ha, it'll be you one day saving. So thank you very much for sending these out to me. All right. Oh, okay. So that is obviously what the big rectangle thing is. Okay. We'll get into that in a moment. And I have a diamond painting and another crafty DIY diamond painting fun thing to do. Okay, so this is uh, the products from the bag ready for our um, unboxing, I guess. Now, I might just put them to a side and we're going to have a little talk about this fellow. This one here um is a magnetic frame so uh it was suggested to me by one day savings if i have a look at one of these and i said oh, that sounds interesting let's have a look why not she says i'll send you one out i thought i'm always looking for different ways to uh, frame and display my done paintings and other crafts so any new ideas that people have to frame and display is always interesting I think it's like all that work you put into them you want to um, put, the, put them up somewhere okay so this looks like to be about a 30 by 40 it's a bit crinkly I don't know if that's just the coverings or what's going on with that it's got like a very thick um, oh hello oh okay um, a very thick sort of texture to it like it's obviously a plastic or something like that, but yeah. Okay, so what we got here, by the looks, is a magnetic frame, folder, slip, whatever you like to call it. So I can put that, I can open it up like so. I can put my diamond painting here onto this white background. These are magnetic strips just st stuck on there. Now it is a bit crinkly, but I'm hoping that'll all sort of settle down and flatten up um, once it sort of has a time to rest, maybe under books and so forth. But it is a bit crinkly. So maybe these need like a nice hard piece of cardboard on them to keep them nice and flat so we don't get those creases and wrinkles in it. Because um, if it doesn't come out, all those bumps and creases don't come out, you're not going to be able to, like that's quite deep in there. Uh, display your piece as nicely as you would like. Now it does have a protective film having said all that so hopefully if I can find the edge of that it has done a bit of protection for our scratches. And so I don't know how that will go but you can sort of see there it's obviously got a protective film but I can't there we go get a hold of that righty -o. let's see what it looks like without that stuff on it take that back a bit so taking back the film you can see it's got a nice sort of glossy finish to the plastic covering but it is um, yeah unfortunately a little bit on the creased and damaged side now that's probably from the transit or the, and, and going through the post. Uh, there was no protection for this as far as that bag. So 
Uh, it would probably be beneficial if we had some sort of piece of card or something this was sat up against right in packaging you know just to help keep it um, from getting bumped around because I'm quite sure when this was put in the bag it was in good condition I just feel that it's more the fact that it's had a you know a long way to go and and now it's got those creases and bumps but there we go uh, that's pretty easy to use basically just open up slip it your piece in there and then close it so there's nowhere to hang or anything like that so you might want to um, it's fairly light so you could probably just use either some sticky dots blue tack uh, and and maybe even adapt some sort of hanging um, string or something along the back of it there that's kind of an interesting idea I will have to muck around with that and see what I can do with it but there you go so that will probably um, fit a 30 by 40 diamond painting in it quite well. So they are something a little bit different. You can um, have a bit of a look at on the website. There we go. It's got me intrigued on how I'm going to do something with that, but I will figure it out. I think it's going to need to sit for, I'll put it on some books and let it sit for a while and see how things go. We'll see how things go. Um, this one here is a DIY craft, and I just absolutely love these. I got some from somewhere else. Oh, I don't know where it was. But anyway, I've really been eyeballing these particular uh, designs, I should say, out for a while now. Oh, my goodness. Why is this so difficult? Now, I have shown you guys some different ones of these in the past, but I really like them. Now, I get a basic kit that no one cares about. I'm getting two tassels for these are bookmarks. I have I love these little designs I have. They're only one-sided, I think. No, they're both-sided. There we go. Double-sided. Some of the ones I've got were just flat, but these ones are actually got them on both sides, the um, decorative flower both brown and I have these two aren't they adorable so these are a leather little bookmark they are really um, very pretty and sparkly and beautiful when they're all done up I don't know if if you if we're really going to use them as bookmarks as such or they're going to just be hanging decorative things for the room but they are going to be used one way or the other I think I can I can see them being more um, be hanging and decorative but that's okay we don't mind look at that so I've got a Hermione and a Professor Dumbledore that's his name I had to think for a minute there that was a pause uh, Professor Dumbledore and Hermione bookmarks type characters and you have a really good cover of drilling area like a good amount to work on these uh, symbols and things are very clearly printed and that's all you have to follow there is no charting pieces of paper or any of that sort of stuff so uh, you have to follow what's on here that is your only guide for your symbols etc the symbols by the a or the number will be on the bags from which I'll show you in a moment from the kit, but that is these two guys. Now their faces, obviously you don't drill those areas. Uh, I don't know, you could always do something and paint their eyes or something, I suppose, anyway. They are just a, um, a leather, you can see they're fairly thin. They have a hole up here punched into the top. That's where you pop your tassel on. So you put your tassel up there. And yeah, they are really cute little designs. So you get two in this pack. Some uh, bookmarks are just as this one on its own, or yeah, there is a few sets like this. And there's a couple of this particular um, sequence or design or whatever. So that's those. As you can see, the printing is really nice. So I'll just pop them to the side. These are your drills, and as I was saying, 
you have all the numbers and so forth along here that will um, tell you which drill goes where so three four and five let's have a look at those shall we right here into the drills we shall dive get rid of that too far because I want to put these back in there. Rightio, so this is a special drill rhinestone project. You might go from the same. Ooh, come back here. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, I think, different ones to show you in this packet. And we're going to start with this really pretty orange rhinestone. Now it's not catching very well, but it is very sparkly, so it looks really pretty. Um, we have this light champagne colour, so it's not a clear. This one is your crystal uh, clear rhinestone. Lots of that. I have a ruby red. And then I have a more... Um, brighter red there so there's two shades of reds and then we go into a lighter one again so i've got three shades of red in rhinestone we have a really big bag of black this is a beautiful sparkly yellow that's a deeper yellow it's not the real bright one then i have these fun little things look at those these are those teeny tiny little teardrops they look absolutely gorgeous, but they are probably one of the most, um, I would say, nice or painful uh, drills to put on. We have this pretty mm, watermelon sort of colour. Now, these ones are a little bit bigger than the normal rhinestones. I have a faceted purple with AB. Again, they are probably a little bit bigger than the last ones I showed you. We have some uh, fairly small marquees here, and they are a clear AB. A bit bigger ones in the same colour, a marquee. And then we have some AB round facets as well. So there we go. Lots and lots of pretty uh, different special drills and lots of colourful rhinestones for that one. Let's just pop these ones back into their pouch. So there's plenty of these sort of DIY little kits you can get. Uh, lots of different bookmarks if you don't particularly like these sort of style. Um, just like flowers or whatever else, there's lots to choose from. Let's put these all together. All right, that'll do. Alrighty. So I've got this last one to show you guys for this unboxing. Oops. Just getting straight into it. Alrighty. Ooh. Okay. Standard sort of packaging. This is only a small one. Oh, this is going to be very pretty. Oh, la. Oh, yes. Standard kit. Don't need that. But I have another very pretty 30 by 30 with 12 stones. Um, this is a sun and moon special drill design diamond painting. It is a partial. Uh, it's looking very nicely printed, a bit stiff this sort of canvas, uh, it's got a nice glitter to it though. Let's just try and straighten it up a little bit. A couple of days under some books and it'll be just fine. But for now I'll just show you the design, isn't that pretty? There we go. So I've got this um crescent moon and sun they're very artistic style 
lots and lots of big stars and diamond shapes and lots and lots of very interesting looking drills showing there some rhinestones as well by the looks of it so a really nice mix so all the background you don't actually drill uh, it's mainly just partial of this sun and the moon design you can sort of see the drilling field there it's printed very clearly it's going to be very easy to follow lots of lovely just just regular designs actually I have very small tables on the bottom right and top left and as you can see it's, there's only 12 so this is actually going to be a perfect um, kit for my big round containers because I have 12 of those in those packets so that was something I'll probably use when I am working on this uh, as I said another key over there very basic sort of symbols and some DMCs by the looks of it you have got like 10 and 11 there are just stars so obviously they are the stars as you can sort of see from these ones here um, some marquee shapes so that's nice and easy to follow and then just circles for the rest of the drills up the top i have got a very tiny thumbnail and the sizing and item code so there we go very nicely um, nice colors nice and printed well and you can see these really really cool looking drills to be had mm. So we're going to have a look at those hmm, that canvas is going to be very interesting again another special drill rhinestone project feeling very sparkly obviously with the border all right packaged in the sort of gray and black i suppose strips you have your numbers and so forth on the bags. So it's just all numbers, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so that is like the, the best table ever, isn't it? Just every symbol is in coincide with the number of drill. So one is one, two is two, right through to 12, which is 12 is 12. That is awesome. That is so easy. I like that. Very good. Now, what have I got here? So I've got these two little strays by themselves as the blues. Wow, they're very pretty. So this is a very pretty blue. It's not coming across, I don't think, as nice as I can see it here. It is uh, very bright and very shiny. So that is number one. I've got more of a sort of sea or aqua type blue in a rhinestone for number two three is moving into red onto orange for four five and six are both different shades of yellows just slightly different again very sparkly i have a uh, clear crystal Number seven. Ooh, here we go. Now we're getting into the good stuff. This is a purple faceted marquee and it is looking very pretty. Nice clean backs, too. So they look like they're going to be good. Ooh. Well, he's different. Um, this is a dome. It's AB and it's a really soft, um, a very soft blue. Very nice. And it's quite big. I have some stars, of course, we had all those stars in the background and so forth. So I've got some silver stars and then I have got lots and lots of these gold ones. Very nice. And I have some beautiful um, gold and yellow shards. So I will say they are number 12, which is going around the sun. So you can sort of see what the colours are going to be and where they're going to fit for this one. I think that's going to be very, very pretty. Lots of stars, gold stars here, silver on the outside. Very nice. So this is going to be a fun, um, fairly quick project. It's going to be very sparkly once it's all done. 
Okay, it's going to look pretty darn amazing, I think. Let's put that back in there so I don't lose them. There we go. So that um, is basically the items I got from One Day Savings. I've got the 30 by 30 Special Drill Diamond Painting, partial. I've got these really sparkly, pretty bookmarks in the in that particular theme. Of course, there is others out there if you like something different. And then this very intriguing idea of how to frame um, your paintings. So this is a magnetic type folder to display or keep safe. And it's full coverage, so that should keep all your drills safely in there on your nice piece. There we go. So that is a kind of a interesting little collection of some different things you can find on the One Day Saving website. Check it all out. Links are down below for you in the description box. And yeah, I hope you enjoy looking at these products today. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. So if you want to do that, hit the bell so you know what I upload next. And I'll see you then, guys. Take care, be well, be safe. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.